like an old hotel for a Dollar Tree. Yeah, I know. You're getting some people gifts. But who cares? You back on that again? Who cares, though? You know, <laughs> it really don't matter. It's the thought that's what counts. If somebody want to kill us, they know where to go. How? Just when I, follow when you it's, on when YouTube. It's, when it's not posted until the next Jesus. day. How can you know where I'm at if it's not posted until the next day? Think. Thank God we don't got a lot of money. Oh, we do. Because, well, my YouTube thing you do. You don't. You, but how much it took, you got to wait until I get my check. That's the real question. I already made money. Hey, what you came in here for? He changed it. Two of them, three of them, four of them. I don't know if they sell them. They sell them right down the street, right over there, ma. Mm -hmm. I just started to find out who watches. Right there. Mm -hmm. We just left our old hotel for good, guys. We're going to eat at that same place we did the other day, Bubble Gump. I can not though. When I was on the computer, these two two boys like that type Fawcett. Yeah, that's nah, yeah, just the Warriors, but... <laughs> Are you a Warriors fan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> I know you're a Cleveland fan. No, I'm not. Okay, I know you're a LeBron fan. No, I'm not. Okay, you a Golden State fan? Of course not. Okay, see? Well, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Because there was only two teams in the championship. And guess what? And what they, team they, you they, talking about? The Thunder. They had, they, they, what they want? What, they I was like away for. I like Thunder. They, they coming up. <laughs> they, they was already up. They keep Westbrook. They coming up. If they lose Westbrook, it's over. Have a good day, man. Good. Come on. The, the, the girl, then the girls at the front desk, my mom was talking about my YouTube. They all they, they got on the computer side and watching it. That's loyalty. I'm definitely going back to them. Best Mr. Western Cross. Right here. Press the button, man. So I'm going to hit y'all when we get the food pace. We're also going on the boat wide. <laughs> hey guys. And grandma so, gonna say she don't believe in that, so you, you some, ain't gonna be able to come around nobody. You on some crazy yeah, I auntie gonna cry. You on some crazy <laughs> ironing, guys. They gonna, man, gonna, beat, they you gonna beat you up. The only one that's gonna deal with you is Shama. She gonna say, don't worry about that, y'all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. I'm about to get back on the boat. I'm good. Don't worry. Oh, we need to find out where's that. No. Excuse me. Well, where do we go for the alligator yeah. show? Right over there. Oh. Oh. That's not the name. And the trading post. Oh, Boy, this is Indians. So, well, tell me that from India. About two minutes to the first alligator show, guys. Two minutes. Gather around the alligator pit on the left side of the snack shop. Your volunteer alligator wrestler, John, will be jumping into the alligator pit, showing you guys a couple tricks and stunts, showing you guys how an American alligator works. In about two minutes, folks, first show, first day. Come on down. Well, that's my screen. Huh? This is my ice cream. You want ice cream? Yeah. These pants are tight. I'm throwing them over here. So, whoa, I don't know. 
vanilla, strawberry, mango, pina colada. It's frozen now. They got them in that look? Those frozen jeans. That ain't even cold. Here. The Captain Chris, and Ryan doing your come care today. They're doing a fantastic job. Don't forget to appreciate those guys. Folks, welcome to the Jungle Queen. My name is Jonathan. Or Attack. I'm not sure what they're going to call me yet. Now, folks, uh, welcome to the Jungle Queen. Um, right now, you guys are about to see alligator wrestling. Now, before we start, a lot of people always ask me, what is alligator wrestling? What is true alligator wrestling? All this is. These are techniques that were invented by the Seminole and Lake Sioux Indians here in Florida. Techniques that they used for hundreds of years in order to capture alligators alive. Now, a lot of people always ask me, why would anybody in their right mind want to capture an alligator alive? Well, it's not that they wanted to, they needed to. See, back in the day, this was a food source. See, hundreds of years ago, in the middle of the Everglades, they didn't have the accommodations that we have. They didn't have refrigeration. They didn't have grocery stores. Anything they hunted or killed, they needed to eat right away and not just spoil very rapidly in the hot Florida sun. Also, not every day was a good hunting day or fishing day. So in order to guarantee a food source, you had to have a food source alive in your camp at all times. The easiest animal to come across in the swamp is what? The alligator. They'd go out there, capture alligators, bring them back alive to their village, and keep them alive in their village. And then any time they had a bad hunting day or bad fishing day, boom, that's what they ate, they ate the alligator. Now they made sure they used every part of that animal's body. All the meat that could be eaten was eaten. All the bones were used to make tools and weapons. However, the most important part oh, of the alligator throughout time became the skin. It was the most important part simply because it was the only commodity, the only item that Native Americans had that the public, the tourists, were willing to purchase from them or in some cases trade for other goods. Now, how it went from that to an alligator wrestling show, folks, I'm here to tell you, this was never meant to be a show. This was never meant to be entertainment. But how did it become entertainment? Real simple. As tourism started moving here in Florida, people started, or people quite frequently, would encounter seminal men on the side of the road jumping into the swamp to capture alligators. Imagine this, that's your first time ever in South Florida, first time ever seeing a Native American or seeing alligators, and you see a Native American jumping, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna stop, you're gonna watch, you're gonna pull over, and that's what people were doing. People were pulling over. People were cheering for these guys. These guys had no clue what people were cheering for. But what they did realize was this. Once they captured the alligator, once they secured the gator's mouth, they realized that the public wanted to interact with the alligator. People wanted to touch the gator, take pictures with it. And because they allowed it to happen, the people would give them money as a thank you. And it didn't take them long to realize, wait a second, they were making more money that way than if they killed the alligator so the skin off of its back. So guess what they stopped doing? They stopped killing alligators. Thank you very much. Yep. They stopped it. As a matter of fact, they brought more alligators into their villages, opened their villages to the world, and charged them for the performance that today we call alligator wrestling, which is simply the hand-to-hand -hand techniques they use to, in order to capture alligators alive. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm going to show you guys the techniques they use in order to capture alligators alive with their bare hands. And I'm also going to demonstrate some stunts they perform. You guys ready to see it? Yes! Yeah. Like five people, thank you all so much. <laughs> I, just, I appreciate it. All right, real quick. I know I heard the captains explain to you all that I am a volunteer alligator wrestler. Do you all know what volunteer means? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a nicer way. <laughs> volunteer means they found somebody dumb enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now folks, I am not happy that I'm uh -oh. a volunteer risking my limbs in an alligator pit. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, for myself and every other alligator wrestler here in the state of Florida, we are all volunteers. Ever since 1997, that was the year that most, like almost every single alligator wrestler in the world got bit. Well, guess what happened? Insurance companies and worker compensation decided they weren't going to pay for bites anymore. So we were forced out of retail. We were forced into retirement. We were forced to actually do this as a volunteer working for tips. That's why you guys see those little white tip buckets. That's how we take care of our families, folks. Now, we also do this for the crowd's enthusiasm. 
So when I tell you I'm risking my limbs for free, and I go, I ran the show, and I got four people to go, mm. <laughs> folks, that does not, does not motivate me to do a show. Throughout this entire performance, I need your motivation. Let's I go. need your screaming, clapping, hollering, whistling. Let's so go. I know you guys are having fun, <laughs> and I'm doing a good job. Let's so we're gonna try this one more time. Let's go. I ran the show. Want me to get bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, when the Native Americans started doing these performances, they realized the quicker they can get on top of the alligator, the quicker they can make money. However, every time they approached the alligator where the alligator could see them, and as soon as they got into the strike range, what would the gator do? The gator would bite them. That's all right, don't be afraid to call it out. Yes, they would get bit by the alligator. Anytime. You get within a strike range of a gator, even though that gator is not moving, it is going to bite. You have to know where that strike range is. And all the Native Americans realize throughout time is that every time they got too close and got bit, it's because that animal felt threatened. You see, alligators, you guys have to understand, we are not a food source for that. Anything bigger than they can swallow in one bite is a threat, not a food source. So if you approach an alligator within that strike range, you will get bit. The Native Americans realized and throughout time realized the best way to approach an alligator was not from the front where they can see you, but from where? The back. The back. The back. You approach them from behind. See, alligators have lateral to forward vision. Therefore, they can't see directly behind them. This allows a very short window of an opportunity to approach the alligator from behind. Quickly grab him by the tail and quickly get on top of the back without hurting the gator whatsoever because he doesn't feel a thing. Then, wait a second, hold on, go back. How many people believe you can get on the back of an alligator he won't feel a thing? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. It's okay to raise your hands. Here we have one adult, two adults. We got some kids. We got kids. Why is the kids the little more? All right. Why is it that the kids are the ones that believe it mostly than the adults? Anybody know why? Because the kids are educated. They watch animal fighting. <laughs> Give the kids a round of applause, folks. Get in right. Thank you so good. Now, for the rest of the adults, I've got something to tell you. The reason why you guys don't be believe it is very simple. Come on guys, we're back out to eat. And then back to the bubble gum. And we sold them a lot of support. They really, they really did good. They had to come back. That's just as good with them though. If I check back, this might be the last vlog or, or my last thing or until I get to my hotel room tonight so I'm trying to eat. Big ideas, got to the big ass new room, mini pits, everything, microwave, big old. You know what the bathroom, bro? Oh, no. Way more room. Space. Got that, 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 that. Ooh. Got the big old space, you know, you know. Bye, bye, you. Look at this city. It is Eddie. Better go swimming later, cat. 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 You know, you know me. But I want to hit y'all later if we go out. If I don't, this is the last vlog of the day. So, like, comment, and subscribe.